and welcome to Watch The Time and welcome to my unboxing and initial review of a new Casio G-Shock in my collection. As you know I like Casios as you can see there I've got everything from data banks, vintage to the edifice over there which is a, a new piece I've just reviewed and I've got two G-Shocks um, which are both square G-Shocks uh, which you can see there and I love the square G-Shocks because they're, they're fairly small on the wrist, they're light, they're just comfortable, they're just great all-round all watches. So I thought I'd go for a different shape G-Shock. So we'll just get into it, pop this one open. So as you can see here, we've got the warranty, usual Casio thing, we'll just get rid of that, and uh, a little pamphlet with a load more pamphlets inside it. And there you can see the module number on this is the 3269. Yeah, in here we'll find another tin. Nice little G-Shock tin. I do like these G-Shock tins. They're, they're handy. I say they're handy. I never actually use them for anything, to be honest. So there you go. That's the model number. So this is the GR8901ER. So you see it's an EU model. And there you see the number matches, the 3269 module number matches what was on the manual. And just a brief there, obviously you can see it's a G-Shock, shock resist, 200 meters of water resistance. To me, that means on a G-Shock, I would happily wear this for diving. I know it's not a certified diver, but I would um, happily go down the maximum wide dive to is 40 meters. Um, and I'd happily dive to 40 meters with that water resistance. So to me, this is a, a, a literally wear anywhere watch. And um, we've got world time, stopwatch timer, alarm, super LED, etc. So let's just get it out of packaging. And one of the things you'll notice on this, first of all, is those buttons. Um, nice, big, chunky buttons compared to say, the little buttons on a G-Shock Square. Gonna get rid of the box there. Oops, and there you have it. Now this is one of those uh, G-Shocks that actually looks much nicer in real life than it does in the photos and the pictures. So, as this is a G-Shock and as is Casio's want, the um, it's like a it's like an advertisement for your wrist. So we'll just go through what we've got: G-Shock protection. You've got what all the buttons do. So we've got adjust mode forward, reverse, and then underneath that you've got hold, set, select, start, stop, split, reset, you've got water, 20 bar, resist, Casio, tough solar, uh, illuminator down the bottom there, battery indicator, and then you've got all your sort of power saving, that's your power saving blob, your light blob, um, obviously a, a date window there and a, and a time window. Um, when you have it on dual time and you've got snooze, alarm, signal, mute. So everything's plastered all over it. Um, you can clearly, if I just hold it like that, you can clearly see the solar panel on this. So there's a massive sort of solar area. So this one, you're never going to have to worry about the battery. It's always going to run. And with the PS mode here engaged, that's power save. So this watch every night, um, when I've got it just sitting in my box, it just goes to sleep. And as soon as you give it some light or some love or some movement, it just springs back to, to life. So this will sit in your drawer for years and you just get it out and it'll be absolutely fine. No atomic on this one, but um, I don't see that as an issue because these are deadly accurate anyway. So I'll just go through quickly some of the functions. Um, we've got, um, as I said, nice big pushers on this. Um, so you've got your dual time there. I've got it set to, to Rome, which because we're in daylight saving time at the moment is actually the same time as where I am at the moment. And then you can just go back and obviously you've got the day, the date and the month in there. Now you've got uh, down here your normal modes. So you've got your world time where you can change uh, your, your world time from, you know, there's little loads on the list of uh, different areas. Then you've got your alarms, and this has got multiple alarms, and so you can go, uh, oh, let's just scrolls it on or off, so that's on, and then you've got alarm two, alarm three, alarm four, and then a snooze, and the signal, and then back to alarm one. You've got your stopwatch, 
uh, which has got minutes, seconds, hours, um, but no time display when you're in the stopwatch function. And the same with the timer, it sort of duplicates what you've got there. And um, if you start the timer, sorry, start the timer running, it shows that it's a 10 minute timer and then this counts down. But I think it would have been better to have the time in, in there and then you can stop, reset. And then back to the, the main screen, obviously you've got daylight saving, you've got uh, a light function there, which, so this is a tilt light, so if it's, if it's dark enough, you just tilt it up and the light comes on. And this is a really nice kind of icy blue light LED on this and it lights up fantastically. I'll put up a light shot here for you. As you can see, it, it just lights up the screen beautifully, as do most Casios, apart from this one. Um, I like this thing here. It looks um, a bit like a, a planet with little planets running around it. And inside it's got a 10 second timer. Um, so it just counts down 10 seconds and then back up 10 seconds. Um, I'm not sure that it has a use other than it, it looks funky. There you've got your power save indicator. And then along here you've got, so as you can see, they've got alarm and signal set, but I haven't got it muted and I haven't got the snooze function set. And then down there it shows you your battery and that will show high, medium or low. Um, very rarely, I've got a couple of, this is, um, yeah, I've got two solar watches and unless you keep it in a darkened drawer for a long time, it will just stay on high all the time. You don't have to sort of worry about, you know, when you're out making sure that it's sticking out of your jacket or make sure it doesn't hide under a cuff. These, you know, a little bit of light and they, they're just off and running. So you very rarely get that go off anything other than high. So you've got your light button there. Um, nice and easy to get to, nice and easy to press, nice and easy to find. Um, I do find it annoying that on some, some of my Casios, the light button is this one, some it's this one. This is the best option. It's there, nice and easy to get to. But, uh, so not a major problem with this one or like that one because it's got the auto light function anyway so you just tilt it up and you can also set the light to to come on and stay on for i think it's one or three seconds have it set for three seconds and have it to come on all the time it's it's solar so you haven't got to worry about the battery going flat um so you know go mad with it um i do like the aluminium sort of bezel on this one i think it gives it a nice sort of touch of almost class uh, as classy as you can get a g-shock i suppose um really nice and chunky the um, the crystal is really well protected um, because of the, the chunkiness of these sort of bumpers on the side. As you can see there, it's a really chunky watch. Basic uh, case back screwed in. There you go. Um, this is the, a twin, I call it a twin pin strap. I don't know what you call that. Nice brushed buckle with G-Shock on it. Um, I really like this. Um, these twin ones you really feel secure and they're really comfortable these bands um, this one has got that kind of um, extend a bit there but that because of the way this comes down it doesn't actually dig into your wrist like on that one for instance um, I've got no reason to take this off it's not painful grips the wrist nicely and um, it's really nice and comfortable it's a fairly light watch so I'm just going to pop it on the wrist for you and then I'll, I'll do a um, actually let me just pop on I'm just going to pop on a square G-Shock first, just to show you on my just over seven inch wrist what that looks like. I think that's really nice, comfortable, lightweight, absolutely perfect for me that is. I absolutely love this. And there you go. So, you know, it's a big watch, yes. It probably measures about, I don't know, 50 odd um, millimetres across, but I, I don't really do sizes because it, it's meant to be a big watch. So there's no good saying, oh, I don't wear anything over a 42 mil watch because you know, this is meant to be big and chunky, so it's fine, in my opinion. Um, if you don't like it, you don't like it, but, um, you know, I actually quite like it, and I think that that suits okay. It's comfortable, it conforms um, nicely to the wrist. Um, massive long strap on it, so, the you know, you, you could fit this round a, a, you, probably your ankle, I reckon. Um, so no problems with sizing. I think it looks really good. It's a really robust, this would be a, great everyday watch um, that you can just do anything with um, you're going to have a job to kill it so um, for me it's an absolute winner it's not cheap it is a more expensive g-shock but i think you're getting a really good feature set you're getting the solar um, and a, a really nice um, really nice watch if you can pick one up 
uh, second hand or in a sale that would be better but I still think it's good value for money I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon if you want to pick one up um, but I, I would definitely go for it um, unless you don't like wearing a big chunky watch then you know maybe not now I, I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to keep this but I kind of I've sold all my other bigger sort of chunky G-Shock so I might actually at the moment I'm erring towards keeping it not to wear it on a regular basis, but just to sort of throw on every now and again, perhaps when I'm um, kayaking or something like that, or doing something, um, you know, a bit rough and tumble, I don't know. Um, so at the moment, I'm, I'm keeping it. So there you go. This is um, Watch the Time. I hope you enjoyed this. I've got uh, a back catalogue of about 50 odd watch reviews. I've got more watch reviews coming all the time. I'm changing my collection all the time. I'm kind of building a collection and doing watch reviews. So I really appreciate your comments, um, watch suggestions, your likes, your subscriptions, all of that good stuff. Um, and um, for now, this is, as I say, watch the time and I will see you again in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.